In the world of wrestling, Shad Gaspar was a force to be reckoned with, a powerhouse with a heart of gold. His charisma and athleticism captivated fans around the globe. But beyond the ring, Shad's life was a journey of resilience, love, and courage. Picture this, a sunny day at the beach, the ocean's waves invitingly crashing against the shore. Shad, a loving father, enjoying precious moments with his family. But then, a sudden turn of events transformed paradise into a nightmare. A powerful riptide threatened to engulf him and his young son. In those heart-stopping moments, what thoughts raced through Shad's mind? Did his wrestling training kick in? Did he make a choice that would forever alter the lives of those he loved? Stay tuned as we unfold the events leading up to that day. A story of heroism and sacrifice that transcends the squared circle and witness the heart-wrenching decisions made in the heat of a life-or-death situation. Shad Gaspard was born on January 13, 1981 in Brooklyn, New York. From an early age, his towering stature and charismatic presence hinted at the remarkable journey he was destined to embark upon. When he was five years old, Shad was trained by his father in boxing, and at the age of eight, he began training in a mixture of different martial arts such as Judo, Kickboxing, Jeet Kune Do, and Muay Thai. At the age of 16, Shad began prize fighting in bar fighting tournaments such as boxing, kickboxing, MMA, and tough man competitions. Although he was only 16 years old, he competed against adults who were up to 20 years older due to his large size. During his formative high school years, he was extensively involved in athletics, specializing in wrestling, track, and basketball. As he graduated from high school, Shad's dedication to sports continued to shine. He took his basketball skills to the next level at Georgia Perimeter College, where his passion for the game propelled him forward. After leaving, he became a bodyguard for several celebrities, including P. Diddy, Mike Tyson, and Britney Spears. With a fire burning within him, Shad made a life-altering decision to step into the world of professional wrestling. His journey to the ring began as he earned a spot in the finals of the renowned reality television program Tough Enough 2 in 2002. The allure of the squared circle drew him in, and he was on the point of making his dreams a reality. However, the path to greatness is often covered with challenges. Despite his undeniable passion and determination, Shad faced a setback that tested his resolve. During the intense physical evaluations, he fell short, resulting in his disqualification and replacement, but setbacks only fueled his determination further. In the face of disappointment, fate had bigger plans for Shad. WWE talent scout Tom Pritchard recognized the raw potential within him and extended a lifeline. Shad was granted the opportunity to pursue his dream of becoming a professional wrestler, proving that setbacks are merely stepping stones toward success. After six months of training, he signed with OVW, a WWE developmental territory, in 2003. With a height of six feet and seven inches, he had the size and look of a wrestler, which gave him a good groundwork to climb from as he rose the ranks and eventually found himself on the WWE main roster in 2006, just three years after starting his career as a professional wrestler. Wrestling enthusiasts remember him as De Beast, a force to be reckoned with in the WWE where he gained fame as one half of the tag team Crime Time alongside his partner JTG. With their electrifying performances and unique personas, they left an indelible mark on the world of professional wrestling. However, Shad's career path took him from the wrestling ring to the silver screen. In 2010, he decided to pursue an acting career, transitioning from the world of wrestling to the world of entertainment. He took on roles in TV shows and movies, including a memorable appearance in the comedy film Get Hard, starring Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Shad's determination to explore New Horizons showcased his versatile talents beyond the wrestling mat. But beyond the scripted narratives of Hollywood, Shad's real-life heroism would cast an even brighter light on his legacy. On December 11, 2016, Shad prevented the armed robbery of a gas station in Coral Springs, Florida when he was approached by an intoxicated man who was intent on robbing the station. Shad shoved the man, took away his gun, and restrained him until police arrived. However, behind his larger-than-life persona and heroic acts, Shad Gaspar was more than just a public figure. He was a devoted husband and a loving father. In 2009, he married Siliana Gaspard, and together, they shared a profound bond that was evident in their journey as a couple. Their love story expanded in April 2010 with the arrival of their son, Arye, who goes by A.G. From that day on, Shad's priorities shifted, and the well-being and happiness of his son became the cornerstone of his life. I love you, son. I love you, daddy.
I love you, son. I love you, son. I love you, son. Shad often visited the beach with his wife and son, seeking moments of ease and shared happiness by the shoreline. In an Instagram post, he wrote, Sometimes you just need a day at the beach with your family to realize how great life is. Those serene outings with his loved ones were a respite from the demands of fame, a chance to savor life's beauty. The beach symbolized joy, togetherness, and tranquility. However, one peaceful day at the once-so-peaceful beach would transform into a horrible nightmare, as the waves that once echoed their laughter and connection ultimately became the backdrop of a tragic event that forever changed their lives. Venice Beach, California is a place known for its beauty and allure. But on that fateful day in May 2020, the waves were anything but welcoming. Shad Gaspar found himself in a harrowing situation that no one would have seen coming. As the waves surged up to eight feet high, Shad was faced with a parent's worst nightmare. His 10-year-old son, A.G., was in danger. With sheer determination and the strength only a father possesses, Shad yelled out, Save my son! Save my son! In a selfless act of bravery, he propelled his son towards rescuers, knowing it was his only chance to save him from the treacherous waters. But fate had a cruel twist in store. As Shad fought against the powerful currents, he was overtaken by a deadly riptide. The lifeguard on duty, Thomas Swift, shared a chilling account of the events. He detailed how he was able to rescue young A.G., but Shad was pulled under by the force of the waves. It was a moment that defied comprehension, a father's love for his child culminating in a heartbreaking sacrifice swallowed by the unforgiving ocean. Join us as we delve into Swift's detailed explanation of what happened during that chilling moment. Lifeguard Thomas Swift, a seasoned professional with three decades of experience, provided his perspective on the day's events. He recounted the rough conditions of the ocean, the powerful waves, and the heroic efforts to rescue six other swimmers not long before he spotted Shad and his son, A.G., in the water. I saw two individuals approximately 200 yards south of my location heading out into the surf, and observed a set of approximately four to eight feet waves coming in. After the third wave in the set, Swift observed these two individuals to be taken off their feet, and they started drifting in a northerly direction in a lateral current that was moving at a speed of approximately 5 to 10 knots. According to his statement, he immediately phoned Santa Monica headquarters that he was going out to assist these two individuals. He took his rescue can, and based on his training and experience, he ran diagonally south in the direction the rip current would take Shad and AG in order to try to cut them off. He entered the water with at least one swim fin and started dolphin diving and swimming to Shad and AG. When he was approximately 20 feet from Shad and AG, a large wave of 6 to 8 feet high with lots of water volume was approaching. Just as the wave was about to come down, Swift observed Shad push A.G. by his shoulders in his direction. As soon as Shad pushed A.G., the wave crashed directly on Shad while the white water from the wave pulled both Swift and A.G. under, and held everyone under the water for several seconds. When Swift surfaced, A.G. was approximately 5 feet to his right and Shad was approximately 20 feet to his left. I swam to A.G., gave him my rescue can, and told him to hold on to it in an effort to stabilize A.G. so that I could assist Shad. When the next wave hit, A.G. let go of the rescue can. I retrieved the rescue can and gave it back to him. After the second wave hit, I lost sight of Shad. It was clear to me that A.G. was disoriented and he would not be able to hold on to the rescue can in the rough ocean conditions. I determined I would not be able to swim out to Shad's location and keep A.G. safe at the same time. Due to the rough ocean conditions, the distance between the two victims, and the inability of A.G. to maintain hold of the rescue can, Swift made the decision to bring A.G. to shore, and then returned to assist Shad. Swift later stated that if he did not get A.G. back to the shore, he would have died. After handing off A.G. to two rescue volunteers at the shore, Swift plunged back into the ocean to try to save Shad. Approaching where Shad would likely be, he encountered two surfers who had reached Shad first. They had pushed their boards towards Shad, but he appeared disoriented, would not grab onto their boards, and just kept saying, Save my son! Save my son! Ten to fifteen seconds later, Shad disappeared beneath the waves. Swift recounted that he, alongside another lifeguard who had arrived at the scene, made multiple dives in a desperate attempt to locate Shad. 
A rescue boat and additional lifeguards joined the search, but Shad was nowhere to be found. Shad's wife, Siliana, thanked the authorities for rescuing her son as the search continued for her husband. Shad is a fighter, a warrior, and a magical soul. We are hoping and praying for his safe return. Unfortunately, two days later, the search was put to an end, and the following day at 2.19 a.m., lifeguards responded to reports of Shad's body along the Venice Beach shoreline in L.A. Shad died at the age of 39. How do I know I'm the best dad in the world? Well... Daddy's the best dad in the world! In the aftermath of this heart-wrenching incident, Shad's wife, Siliana, filed a wrongful death suit against the city and county of Los Angeles and the state of California. She questioned the safety measures in place at Venice Beach and raised concerns about negligence in responding to the emergency. She claimed that there were not enough signs to warn Shad and AG of the danger or risk of swimming there. She's also claimed that the lifeguards chose to only assist AG and left Shad in the water to die. Furthermore, she accused the lifeguards of being slow to react, poorly trained, understaffed, and lacking proper equipment. Daniel Murphy, section chief of the Lifeguard Services Division, countered Celiana's claims. He maintained that a dive team, multiple lifeguard units, rescue boats, a helicopter, a personal watercraft, and more, were deployed to search for Mr. Gaspard following his submersion, but they were unable to locate him. Murphy also listed the signs that are on display at Venice Beach like caution, beware of rip currents, and be mindful of the open ocean and swim or surf within your ability. The lawsuit is still pending to this day. In a tribute to Shad, former wrestler turned movie star Dwayne The Rock Johnson said, Shad drowned in the ocean, but not before instructing lifeguards to save his son first. That's the true love of a father. His dedication to his family and his heroic act left an indelible mark on those who knew his story. Two years after his untimely demise, Shad was honored posthumously with the Warrior Award during the 2022 WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. The award is reserved for an individual who lives life with the courage and compassion that embodies the indomitable spirit of the ultimate warrior, one of the most popular wrestlers to step foot in a ring. Shad Gaspard's memory lives on as a symbol of strength. From the wrestling ring to his final heroic act, he displayed unwavering determination. His legacy speaks of resilience, familial love, and heroic bravery that touched hearts worldwide. Shad's story reminds us that true heroes are born in the moments that challenge us the most.